Welcome back to Ryan's Speed Shop. So today I'm gonna walk through how to manually operate a Lamborghini Gallardo final top in case you ever get stuck out in the rain like it's about to do here. First step you're gonna to wanna to do is open your door and pull your seat forward. And then behind your seat, I'll clip in some photos. There's gonna be a plug, undo the plug, reach in, and there should be an Allen screw. You're gonna need like a six millimeter Allen key Loosen the screw up about a quarter to half a turn. Don't lose your plug. And then you're gonna come back to the back. You're gonna reach in through the grill and you should be able to see a uh, or Allen head screw. Put that on there. It's gonna be a quarter turn clockwise. And if you're by yourself or if you have a friend, each of y'all grab both sides. If not, uh, I, I can grab this little spoiler thing. It seems to be pretty sturdy. Pull up enough to get my fingers under it. Up and back, which you should still have some kind of pressure, so it'll be slow and uh, draggy. Grab your Allen key, just so you don't lose it in the back. Lift this up with one hand. It's not gonna lock up because the uh, pressure's gone. And then slowly pull your top out. Should also note, this is my bad hand. It should just kind of rock up. Uh, these pull back, there it goes. Set the thing back, put your boot back. Uh, push this forward. It should just go nice and easily and slow. It's pushing all the fluid out of the reservoirs. That's why it'll be kind of resistant. Now with the top up, you won't be able to fully lock your top. This will always be loose. So you have a security problem there. But once you get out of there, once you get uh, this part back, it will keep it dry. It won't leak. Uh, we've driven it hundreds of miles pouring rain and the inside stayed dry for the most part. What little bit hit here never actually made it in the car. So you go on the inside, you'll need a, uh, a uh, M6 or M8 bolt which I'll show you why I don't know exactly which one. You'll be able to rotate this manually to lock it. This one's missing the header bow from uh, the previous owners. But all you'll do is grab the bars, you'll pull them in tight, and then that's, uh, that's that. You'll get your screw inserted in the hole, pull it down, and then twist it. Just kind of give you an idea of what it looks like without the plastic pieces on there. Uh, what you're trying to do is twist the blade looking thing. You're twisting that to push those bars out to lock the top in so yes you want uh these these teeth to kind of be maxed out in this and then you know you got a pretty good uh lock this thing's not going to go anywhere because the hooks are in there if you can see the hook behind on both sides uh, normally this thing should have this motor attached here and spinning and everything and previous uh owners disconnected it so made it easier to get the top up and down manually but doesn't look as appealing with the top up but you'll get a check engine light or a warning light saying that your top's not secure since uh, the back's all floppy but now you'll be able to roll the windows up everything will be good you'll have a little bit of wind noise probably a lot of wind noise but uh you'll be dry and your interior will be saved to put the top down will be the reverse You'll get your screw inserted in the hole, pull it down, and then twist it uh, clockwise to unlock. It's counterclockwise to lock. Unlock your bell. Uh, with that loose, uh, you got a purge your system before. Go to the back. Quarter turn clockwise, pull up. Grab it, fight the hydraulic pressure. It'll slowly go. Don't try to force anything because this is, it's plastic. So you're going to break it if you pull too hard. Uh, lift up. At that time, you can lift up on your front bow and everything should just slowly start collapsing in. A little bit easier than it went up. Get all that down. You can slide your top forward. You're good to go. And then that's how you can now I'll just slowly lock. I'm gonna pull it back, just kind of to run through it without demonstrating. 
You can sometimes get your shoulder in here, depending on what you're wearing, or have your friend hold it while you pull it up. Lock it, pull up on the tail if it gets kind of hung up. It seems to free it up a lot. Put your top down. Slide it forward. And don't forget your Allen key in the back. We'll say, I'll put a picture up. Most uh, Lamborghinis, I believe, came with a tool from the factory to do this. It has all the hardware you need with the screw attachment. This car needs a lot of work, so I'll probably be having a lot of content on it. Just kind of going through it and getting it good for my buddy so they can enjoy it and not have to worry too much mechanically. Uh, but overall, it is what it is. Uh, see y'all next time. If you like this kind of stuff, like, like and comment, subscribe. Uh, I got more content coming. I got my personal cars and all that stuff I've been working on. Uh, so, thanks.